jump scare glitch there for a second. My name is Vesper Fortune, Bat of Fortune, Witch of Fate. I'm here to help you change your fate after I heal from daylight savings time. <laughs> Why? Why is this still a thing, honestly? <laughs> Wait, it says... There is something wrong with... Okay, I guess, I guess something's broke somewhere. <laughs> well, what's a VTuber stream without a little scuff, right? <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's having a good weekend and is not being totally destroyed currently by Daylight Savings Time. If you live someplace else where Daylight Savings Time isn't a thing, lucky you. <laughs> I am jealous. And what is, what is wrong with my music? Ah, there we go. Absolutely jealous because I'm going to be destroyed over the next week. Mm -mm. Well, not really. I have very, very uh, adaptable energy levels, it seems. So. So I'm actually very fine today. Yesterday was kind of a bit iffy, so that's why I took it off. I'm gonna take it all off one day, but... Ooh, woo. But... But I am rather fine today, and... We're gonna have a nice stream tonight. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to be. Um, I'm not sure how long Welcome to Kuroshi Club is. And we're going to get right into it as soon, as soon as possible. But I just want to have, you know, the pre-stream chat, the preamble, then the amble. But I've been watching some, uh, Studio Ghibli, uh, life of vlogs, and I'm like, so jealous. It makes me want to move out, you know? <laughs> move out and then get like grab control of my life by the horns which just currently one which is kind of kind of one of the things i currently don't have at the observatory however i'm not the only one there's plenty of people out there who have to give up living on their own because life is just too difficult <laughs> which is not something i want to uh dwell on because I know that all a lot of people come here for escape and and y'all really get that with me anyways so but I just am like it's kind of lifting up my stress you know to just watch these like little Ghibli vlogs and watch these people make their little cozy cottagecore food I'm like ah yes my soul is healing this is what I want in life <laughs> It's like, it's very nice. It's very soothing. And, it, and I'm just like, I'm jealous. <laughs> because, like, total utmost control of diet and stuff is something I'm, oh, just cannot do. <laughs> but I have to get back to, to dieting, because, like, because uh, the bat is kind of chunky. We can't, it's a kind I'm a ch kind of chunky bat at the moment. <laughs> February and January did not help the chunky bat. I'm telling you that now. <laughs> February and January were just stress for me. <laughs> March isn't helping much either. To be fair, March isn't helping much either. That, that's because right now, that's what, that's the time when all the money issues come up. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well. There's a drama always happening. There's always something every day for everyone, probably. If you're tuned into stuff, like, I know a lot of people manage to tune out, but, you know, I, I, I'm very much not tuned out and I'm just kind of sick of it some days. But, uh, that's why I plan on focusing more on my work, more on myself, and 
trying to read instead of doom scrolling Twitter half the time. But uh, let's get into gaming because honestly, we've been a bit without a game. I just want a game for you guys. Uh, let me just do one little thing. Let me do just one little thing because it is bothering me. Okay. Oh, I've screwed up. Hold on. <laughs> um, well, that's just how it's gonna be. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I, I kind of get tired of accidentally looking at, at some of my stuff, so. Let's see here. Uh, I guess that's how it's gonna be, huh? Okay, well, I'll do my best. <laughs> but, uh, everyone, let's play, uh, Welcome to Kuroshi Club. Because I'm actually kind of interested in this. Let's see here. It is supposed to be a visual novel. And I'm pretty sure it's inspired by, um, uh, by Junji Ito, which, it, which is one of my true loves. I, I would do anything. People are like, would you jump off a cliff if Junji Ito asked you to? He probably has a good reason to be asking me to jump off a cliff, though. Like if Junji Ito asked me to drop off a, uh, jump off a cliff, he probably has a good reason to. Like honestly, like honestly, if he was asking y'all, y'all probably be like, "Oh, there's some sort of unforgivable whore that's about to kill us all, isn't there?" Speaking of which, ooh. Okay. Uh, English. Oh, hold on. In 2023, the gaming industry faced significant challenges, resulting in over 10,000 skilled professionals being laid off. This period was marked by uncertainty. I, I wasn't expecting to have to read. Okay, so we now know that's about, uh, gaming. <laughs> Let me, uh, turn this up a little for everyone. Okay, let me have... Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. No wonder I couldn't see anything. For some reason, uh, it's like this. Okay. Let me just shrink it a little. Move down. Alright. Everybody be ready for an absolutely horrifying experience. Actually, let me read up the Steam page for everyone. Oh no, 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 oh no. I'm oh I'm legally not allowed to I you're you're not allowed to hear the rest of that trailer. Oh, this is why, why does it autoplay? I have to fix that. That's stupid.
Auto playing is stupid. You heard me right. <laughs> like, oh, auto play videos. Okay, that was simple. <laughs> okay, uh, where is the thing? So, uh, so I can, uh, so I can uh, talk about this. Welcome to the Kuroshi Club is a free visual novel set in Japanese horror business punk in black and white manga style. The story follows Kenji Hashima, a former game developer, as he tries to find a new job and land an interview for the sales specialist position in a new company. As a player, you will face the consequences of your choices. Explore the Kuroshi Club world and cover the terrifying truth. Enjoy a thrilling experience and immerse yourself in this unique novel. And uh, we get a job interview horse simulator. Oh no, so, so that's gonna be awful. Depending on how well this goes, I'm going to uh, join the, uh... I'm going to join the Discord. <laughs> but, uh, let's get started, shall we? Man, this soundtrack is good. Okay, let's get started. Hey, Silver, what's up? How you doing? Did you have a job interview and how did it go? <laughs> We're playing a uh, Welcome to the Kuroshi Club. What you doing? Do any art today? Wow, I just relaxed my day and off. Nice, nice. Wow, I was not expecting this soundtrack to be so banger. This is apparently a job horror interview, job interview simulator. Welcome to the Kiyoshi Club. I had to get a dog about it because he walled in dirt outside. Aww. What's a dog if they're, if they're not a little dirty? It's a story driven game that does not have a safe system. It requires you to complete your interview without inter any interruptions. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, hold on, because I screwed up, because I accidentally, uh... I don't want to gift a subscription. I, I need to see my fucking chat. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's just... Okay. Oh dang, right? No saving, just horror. Escape or the S key will reset your progress and end the game. That can help you skip the job interview. Piece of paper at the top of the screen or the S key opens settings. You can control sound and music volume. To continue with the story, click on the pulsating arrow or press space key. I'm glad the dog is nice and clean. Day 3,759. Oh, man. You know this is Japan because they still have pay phones. The frosty timbre of a woman's voice emanated from the device. Greetings. Slight disarray invaded me. Haunting of a fuddle greeting of turn. Uh, hello? The unidentified voice persisted. 
I am Hitomi Takamitsu, representing Kaneo Industry as a recruiter. A dialogue was scheduled for this time with Mr. Takeshi concerning an interview with our firm. May I confirm, is this Mr. Takeshi with whom I'm speaking? I don't know. With whom I'm conversing? I don't know why. I don't know why I have a weird accent tilt with this woman suddenly. Is this serendipity bestowing a great gift upon me? It has been months since my employment ceased. My search for new employment has been steeped in desperation yet futile. I remain barred from even reaching the interview phase. Desperation has only swelled with every refusal. Dare I seize this unexpected opportunity? Dare I masquerade as Mr. Katakashi to garner an interview? But what then of the real Mr. Takashi? And of my fate should my deceit be unveiled. Listen, if Takashi ain't fucking here for the interview, you go and get that job. You're probably just as good as he is. He might even be overqualified. My musing was interrupted by the individual online. Excuse me, are you present? I am unable to detect your voice. Can you confirm if, if this is Mr. Takeshi? A subtle undertone of annoyance permeated the woman's voice. Time was imperative. A decision was imperative. Time was evaporating. A decision was imperative. Um... Something tells me if we tell the truth, we're not even going to get to the rest of the game, so let's lie. Uh, yes, this is Mr. Takeshi. My apologies for the delay. Acceptable. Ensure you recall our prior agreement that I would return your po all post-review of your curriculum vitae. The superiors found your qualifications favorable. Hence, an interview has been arranged for you. Clearly, this Mr. Takeshi possesses noteworthy skills. Fortuity graces me, bestowing such a fortunate instance in time and space. Oh, thank you very much. That was the sole all utterance I could muster as a reply. Finally, present yourself at our office. Detail the following address today. One dash one one Oh, dang it. Tsukiji. A personal discussion regarding the sales specialist role awaits you. Farewell, Mr. Takeshi. Oh, uh, yes. Goodbye. Remarkably, I have accomplished it. I first entered you following a lengthened barren f lengthy barren few months. My apologies linger, Mr. Takeshi. I'll be a phone on reasons you did not answer your call. But who is luck, it appears, holds significance in the job-seeking voyage. The only remaining hurdle is to navigate through a successful interview. Provided they do not expel me on uncovering my falsehood. Wait, you have an eyeball on your hand, sir. You have an eyeball on the back of your hand. What, what magics have you been doing? What have you been doing, sir? You just you just don't have that in Japan. Unless you're like very occultist Yakuza. 
Is that what you are, sir? Is that what you are, Kenji? Kenji, don't lie to me. Tattoos are cool. You'd make it over here in America. Sometime later. Okay, so like I read reviews of this game, which I normally don't do, and they said that the protagonist was wordy. However, I feel like that kind of goes into the idea of not being yourself for a job interview. Cause, cause when you're in a job interview, you, 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 you normally play up aspects of yourself that aren't real, and you want to come off as more than you are. So I feel like it's kind of like this is going to be one of those everything built into the main theme type of deal, which is job interview horror. Sometime later. Boarding the subway, my mind swelled in the vortex of the imminent interview. An oppressive fear burgeoned within. Fear of unmet expectations. Fear of error. Fear of initial perceptions. Fear of refusal. Fear of rivals. Fear of the unfamiliar. And paramountly, fear for the future. Oh, oh, why are you so relatable, Kenji? What uh, does the future reserve for me? Merely slumbling once at my former employment has thrust me to nearly a year's endeavor job hunting. Oh, you fell asleep on the job. And they fired you for that? Oh, you poor creature. Anxiety and fear have manifest, manifest as persistent shadows ever present in my journey. Did you catch the latest? That doofus isn't raving the right flag yet. My despairing contemplations of job-seeking stark reality were interrupted by the casual dialogue of two women. He tossed his resume back in the, in the ring. No way. He seriously thinks they'll give him a shot. What's this? His sixth ring at it? It seems they discourse about another individual, similarly mired in futile job seeking. Their discussion exacerbates my own apprehensions. Here's, here's the kicker. He sat down every time with just a one word no. And oh, keeping a straight face each time. It's a workout. What do you say we place bets on this loser th What do you say we place bets on when this loser throws his hat in, in again? Does he get that with his track record? He's not even scrubbing floors there. With her rhetorical questions, she, su she succumbs to laughter. A companion joins in, equally derisive in mirth. Bewildering unease envelops me. Overhearing such dialogue is far from the mental preparation I sought prior for to my in impending interview. Self-doubt accelerates my heartbeat. Panic looms menacingly close. My surroundings begin to oscillate bef before my eyes. Okay, oscillate is a bit of a push on, on word choices. 
Desperation for stability. Something steadfast consumes me. Even a moment's surrender would see me crumple on the subway floor. Composure is imperative. A surge of nervousness compelled me to retrieve my resume. I scrutinized it, weighing my prospects anew. Attempting to conjure positive thoughts, my mind is infiltrated even by even graver considerations than before. Is my current opportunity genuinely merited? It's mere luck, isn't it? Is this job truly necessary for me? Should I withdraw before potentially faltering? Is further experience necessary? Is previous rejection rooted in this? Am I deserving of employment? Am I adept for a role as a cell specialist? Oh no. He's spiraling. Questions mercilessly born to my mind, yearning for answers. Answers are desperately cried to all these queries. Mm, we'll tell the truth on this one. Does a resolution to that inquiry exist? In honesty, my knowledge reaches its limits. I am uncertain if I embody the right individual for the position. I harbor doubts about successfully navigating through the interview. My competencies remained under a cloud of ambiguity. The sole clarity lies in understanding that without an attempt, success eludes me. Indeed, doubts may cloud my vision, but until an interview is secure these worries, they stand as mere apparitions. Oh yeah, you, you talk yourself up, Kenji. You think positive thoughts. You will get this job if you, if you want it. My mind spins tales of anxieties, envisioning unencountered problems. However, contending with the non-existent is a futile endeavor. Oh no, I wasn't expecting, uh... <laughs> a lessons to be taught tonight. Initially, I must secure an interview. And if I fail it... Only then does Apollo materialize in reality. In reality, it can be navigated through negotiation. The trade has arrived! Once no reflections of whether my skills were sufficient, I scarcely noticed my arrival at the designated spot. There I was, dwarfed by the towering, multi-tiered office structure. It cast a large shadow over its antiquated adjacent building. The vast glass panes caught the sun's rays, shimmering warmly. Could it be that I might find my place within these walls? Joining a large corporation has long been a dream of mine. I wonder what experiences lay beyond these formidable facades. Memories of the past began to sketch out visions of my potential work days. Within the pulse of daily commerce thumbed unseen. And who's poking me? Someone, surely, was lingering, lingering over a fresh pot of coffee, exchanging words on the mundane. Others might be queuing for their turn at the communal printer, a bottleneck in their efficient day. Perhaps one or two sought refuge in a bathroom cubicle, stealing moments of respite. Such trivialities once wove the fabric of my own days. 
Now amidst a job hunt stretching nearly a year, a sense of duality has plagued me. Had I truly lived before this interlude, or had I diminished to a mere specter of former vital vitality? Eagerly, I anticipate stepping inside to soak in the ambience, if only for a moment. Observing the edifice and stealing myself for the forthcoming challenge, a tall girl's approach caught the corner of my eye. Hello, you must see Mr. Takeshi, I presume. I guess this is a representative from Kaneo Industry. It's critical now to maintain the facade I've crafted. Yes, I am Mr. Takashi. Sorry, chat. Okay. Her gaze pierces me with a glint of skepticism. Anxiety surges within me, fearful of my ruse crumbling to dust. Mr. Takashi. Yes. A shiver of foreboding courses through me. I trust you found our location without trouble. Relief floods in, deflating the tension. Absolutely no issues at all. I appreciate your... She cuts off my gratitude mid-sentence. You're not really Mr. Takashi, are you? I knew it because it was stupid to think otherwise that you could get away with this like you think we didn't even fucking see him the first time. We know what he looks like. What the fuck were you- did you think you were doing? Sir, like seriously this entire premise was stupid for, to begin with but we went with it. The jig is up. This is the end of the line. Uh, you, you've seen through me. Oh, uh, that now. Uh, the situation remains as it is. Because we can't keep people because we need you, Sanji. Your actual name... The... I misled you. Our firm values drive and ambition and not people. If we valued people, we can't value drive and ambition. And by drive and ambition, I mean working you all to the bone until there's nothing left and then working what's l and working the nothing. Additionally, Mr. Takashi has been unreachable. I wonder why. Hence, we're willing to consider you for the position. You are... Hashima. Ken Ken Kenji Hashima. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hashima. Can't wait to work you down till there's nothing left. Follow me, please. <laughs> Okay, she giving a payphone number as his con contact. No wonder he's unreachable. He planned this. He he had no plans to be contacted by these people. He he he's probably a mole or something. <laughs> the man was like, I ain't actually doing this. I'm gonna fuck them over. Or or maybe or I did it for the lols. I got a job interview for the lols. And then they actually hired him. <laughs> well, come in, whatever. What you doing? But yeah, he gave a payphone number, which even in Japan, I think would be a bit crazy. Unless, unless Mr. Takashi is, uh, is, uh, homeless, then, uh, then there is other issues happening. My mind reels from the turn of events. Here I stand, having to see my way through the door, displacing Mr. Takashi. Yet opportunity still, still knocks. 
Just got home. How are you? Do they even have... They even still have payphones in Japan? Yes, they do, actually. Payphones are actually still very popular and... Well, not popular, but... They still have, like, use in Japan. Has my string of luck not fray, not yet fray to its end? So, I think, uh, mostly because... I'm not sure how cell phones work in Japan, to be fair. I, I mean that as in, uh, I'm not sure about, like, signal or everything. But considering how, like, a lot of Japan is very urban, and I presume that some of that would block signal somewhat, that payphones would still be useful in certain times. But, like, yeah, people will still use them. <laughs> I'll ride this wave as far as it will carry me. Probably could use more payphones here. True. Employment is the prize. I must seize it before anyone else. Takashi included. As I shout out Miss Takamitsu, a sense of unease crept in. Abruptly, it dawned on me that our destination wasn't the towering structure I had envisioned. And that Miss Takamitsu was guiding me towards its neighbor. A dated, robust, eight-story office. But why? Where was this dream of a sleek, contemporary workplace? Miss Takamitsu, shouldn't we be heading toward to the other building? <laughs> this feels like a reimagining of Lavami Core. Oh, I bet they kill people here. No worries. No. The response was brief and somewhat sharp. So, do you, should you succeed in the interview, this will be your place of work. My heart sank with disillusionment. Yeah, you're, you were delusional. That's on you. The fantasy of Shikinu office had been fleeting. Nevertheless, I braced myself to reconcil reconcile with this stark reality. Ooh, elevator music. As we stepped into the elevator, the ascent to the upper echelons of the building began. Destination, the interview suite high above, and my future hung in the balance. With each floor passed, my heartbeat quickened, a crescendo of nerves. <laughs> he has no reflection? Hmm. The confined space, the sterile glow of the elevator lights only fuel my glowing dread. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe this world's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Retreat seemed more appealing with each passing moment. Well, if everyone will look at his, uh, his hand right here. I'm not sure. Can you see my cursor? Oh yeah, you can. He has an... I don't know if that's, like, natural or if that's a tattoo, but he has an eyeball on his hand. At least this hand. We can't see the other hand. So, so I'm already betting he's not normal. Looks like the dishonor tattoo. It's, it's an eyeball. It's very common. <laughs> However, uh, if you want to condone that he was once in Dishonored, go ahead. I don't think I don't think the game devs are stopping you. <laughs> the sluggish climb skyward did little to call my fraying nerves. Uh, Miss Takamitsu, is it always this slow going up? The elevator is rather dated. Patience is fired. There's no fourth floor button too. That that's a common thing in Japan. Silver floor is 
four has the same sound as the word for death. So it's bad luck to have a fourth floor in a lot of uh in a lot of uh East Asian countries like Japan, China. I think it's also prevalent in Korea. I think anywhere that has had like a little bit of Japanese influence probably does not have the fourth floor. Just like in America, you'll see buildings without a 13th floor. So there is a fourth floor, just nothing on it, or you just ignore that fourth. Um, there's probably a fourth floor for stability. And like, you know, structural in... Yeah, some American, some American buildings don't have 13th floors if they have more than 13. But uh, it's not as prevalent as it is in Japan where they don't have 4th floors because... Because like again, 4 sounds like death. And so it's like, oh, we're not going to have a 4th floor. <laughs> That's Rocky, but I see what you mean, yeah. In America, it's merely, it's merely the, it's merely Christian influence. You know, 13th Apostle, Judas, the betrayal, all that stuff, and 13 ending up becoming an unlucky number. But in Japan, it's more of, oh, this sounds like death. We shouldn't have it. And it ended up becoming a very popular, uh, Thing. Oh, I see. Thank you. And Jesus was the 13th one at the Last Supper, yeah. Now we can go into Christian mythology and whether or not Judas should be forgiven or not. <laughs> Another time, because that's an entire dialogue that I'm not smart, smart enough for or researched well enough for. Because I'm not into <laughs> the apostles when it comes to Christianity. I'm into the ladies and the whores and like the larger fantastical elements and the Garden of Eden. <laughs> like, talk to me about Lilith. Talk to me about Eve. Talk to me about the Garden. Talk to me about uh, the whore Babylon. I can't, I can't tell you much about Jesus. <laughs> Welcome in, Dits. How are you tonight? We're playing some horror. We're playing. We're playing the worst thing ever: a job interview simulator. <laughs> oh, I see. Thank you. In Japan, mind you. So, so they're gonna grill us hard. I'm doing well. Just re resting after helping my mom's gardening. Ooh, I love gardening. Any, any, any specific flowers y'all planting? I know it's. I know depending on where you're at, you're either planting now or you're still raiding a bit. Because I know some places are still experiencing winter and other places are experiencing spring already. So now is probably a good time to be planting strawberries and other stuff. Kenji's got that supernatural hair too. No one's hair is that shiny. It's called Grease. <laughs> Her assurance offered no solace. The ticking clock became my adversary. Each tick a loud echo, the time slipping away. Uh, we're probably about to start planning soon ish as well, though. Though, with the knee spats in the observatory, it's, it's really hard to find time. I may have to start taking care of the garden more. <laughs> Mr. Hashima, on our way up, why you share a bit of your life outside of work? <laughs> Lady, why do you want to know about, about my life outside of work? You should only be worried about my life inside of work. <laughs> about my personal life? 
Uh, well, there's not much to tell, really. Life outside work? Lol. Yeah, and in Japan, too, which has probably the worst work-life balance ever. I'm trying to think of what we normally be planting right now. I said we usually wait until May for plants. Um, yeah, I think right now is mostly uh, late winter stuff like strawberries. And I'm trying to remember other things, but I'm thinking mostly of Harvest Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, plants you plant around winter. <laughs> Which is probably not a good answer. But once May comes around, it's potatoes, tomatoes, beans, um, cucumbers. You gotta plant them in May so they, they begin, uh, uh, producing stuff around July, August. About my personal life, uh, there's not much, really. I moved away from where I grew up and kind of lost touch with my parents. I work well, it used to take up most of my time, like everyone else in Japan. I never really got around to the whole marriage and kids thing. Guess I always thought my career should come first and the rest would sort itself out eventually. I see. You have issues. I see. You don't- you- you've never- you never satisfied a woman. Her reaction was non-committal, inscrutable. Well, well, if he- if, well, if he keeps it up, he's gonna become a wizard when he's 30, because, you know, if you keep your virginity until you're 30, you become a wizard. Or at least that's what that one manga says. <laughs> Has she hoped for a different portrait of my life? <laughs> Fuck, really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, according to one manga. I would have done that had I known. Yeah, I, I forgot, um... Uh, I think it's called 30 Years of Virginia Has Turned Me Into a Wizard or something. And it's a BL manga. And I think it just got anime. Yeah, I think it's about a dude who gets uh, mind reading powers when he turns 30. And she hoped for a different portrait of my life. Fabrication involving family, perhaps? And what of leisure activities? <laughs> Maybe if I make it another 30 years without any action over. <laughs> Stigma life, the manga. Oh no. <laughs> to be fair, he, he, I think, I think it's kind of like he, he was, what makes it worse is that he was, he's gay. Which, as you all know, um, not to, not to spread stereotypes, but, uh, I read stories, I read stories about teenage gays and new boy. Personal real lifestyle, and I'm like, oh, that wasn't me. <laughs> but wow, kind of wish it was sometimes. <laughs> Is she plowing for a workaholic's confession, or generally intrigued by my life outside the office? Hobbies, huh? Well, to be honest, I haven't had much time for hobbies. Work was pretty much it, improving my skills and staying on top of things, you know? Is that genuinely me? Lately, my pastimes have faded into the gray, the job hunt blurring days into a continuous loop. Have I been adrift in this limbo since the day I lost my job? Intriguing. Thank you. 
How fucking boring. Mrs. Takamitsu's facade was a fortress, her emotions veiled. One could but speculate on a true thought. The exchange had its intended effect. The dialogue outpaced the journey, and before I knew it, we arrived. This way, please, we've arrived. <laughs> so, for the interview. This, this, this is like really mood setting. <laughs> this, like, a little, like, jump scares. I feel the judgment. <laughs> it's me. I'm adding her character. I stepped into the nondescript office. It's familiar, cold comfort. It's like every other room, a copy of countless others that punctuate the corporate world. Miss Takametsu positioned herself behind the desk with an air of detachment. Please, take a seat. You boring ass fuck. Sure, thanks. The pivotal moment had come. The dry spell in my career had been lengthy. This interview was a long awaited break in the cloud. I can't afford to stumble now. The stakes were high. Questions loomed on the horizon of my mind. Like, should I have told her that I was a virgin? <laughs> that I had gone so long? Without literally anything going on in my life. Why am I boring? What could she ask? What should I say? Doubts about my qualifications nipped at me. Was I enough? The temptation to embroider my past tugged at me. But what if the truth was a better gamble? Time dragged its feet, each second bloated and heavy. I played out potential scenarios, Miss Takamitsu's reaction shifting like quicksilver in my head. None but settling right. My thoughts, usually my sanctuary, became a tempest, forecasting doom, painting me in the dreary light of future rejections. It was as if I had fast-forwarded to a future where I perpetually searched for work in a self-inflicted purgatory. <laughs> if all else fails, he should get into writing with all these metaphors. <laughs> yeah, he could be a good gothic writer. <laughs> as anxiety threatened to overtake me, I pulled brakes on the runway train of my thought. Miyali called me back. Miss Takamitsu is right there. The present, a stark stage waiting for my performance. <laughs> my life is eternal grey purgatory, and I am the demon cast into it from the from the heavens, not so high that our life. Mr. Hashima, your presence here today for the soul specialist soul is much appreciated. Even though we just grabbed you off the street and intend to kill you. Shall we commence with the questions? Fairness eluded me. Sure, I'm ready. Excellent. You'll be a divine feast for our overlord. My first question. Where do you envision yourself in a century's time? <laughs> Where do you envision yourself in a century's time? Well, I don't know. Oh wait, I just realized there there's a weird symbol over here. Right over here. That's not Japanese. He's <laughs> Stuck watching people passing by. Oh, I feel that in my bones, in my soul. <laughs> Where do you envision yourself in a century's time? Beneath the soil descending. I shall become 
Junior manager. Uh, Rumpel question? In a hundred years, the realm of impossibility, right? It was a given, an end all, an end to all. Death is certain for me, uh, is certain, as certain for me as for all. Perplexed, I wondered at her aim. Perhaps this was a test of creative thinking? I decided to play along. A dash of humor might just do the trick. Guess I'll be the most seasoned expert around. <laughs> uh, by quite a few decades. Very well. You have made your choice. But Tomu's expression remained unreadable. <laughs> oh god, I felt that. <laughs> yeah, pain. Pain. This may be horror, but you know the worst part of about horror? It's always supposed to be relatable. <laughs> horror is at its worst when it's relatable. <laughs> well, at its best. Now, may I inquire? Why you part ways with your last employer? <laughs> sure, why not? Honesty is the only path, even if it's strewn with my own failings. Oh, we have ads. <laughs> we have ads. Oh, my nose is full. <laughs> uh, you can tell. You can tell it's the changing of the seasons by whether or not by whether or not algaes come in. <laughs> oh, it must be spring. How can you tell? Vesper has allergies. <laughs> Vesper's allergies have come in. I hope everyone's doing well today. I hope everyone's nice and chill. And ready to and ready to just continue on. I'm not sure how long this game is. I'm not sure how long this game is, but if it's computable in a night, then we'll go ahead and do that. Hopefully it's not too long, because I do want to finish our World of Horror playthrough on stream. And I'd rather not have another night, whole night dedicated to it. But if I have to, I will. <laughs> yeah. But tomorrow will be our... And I think I'm gonna go get some more water, so I'll be right back. What's that symbol called, by the way? What's the symbol called? Um, the one on his hand or the one on the wall? Um, I'm not exactly sure. They could have just made it up. It looks familiar, though. However, a lot of fake mysticism looks familiar. Now, uh, it looks like... 
to me, it looks like it could be a rune. However, I'm not like a hundred percent sure. But I think it's kind of just basically there. And welcome back from the ads, everyone. I was just talking about the symbol on the wall. I'm not sure what it is, to be fair. But if anything, it gives me, uh, rune vibes. Might also be a symbol from demonology. Or demonolatry. Depending on how you want to... How you want to, uh... Depending on how you feel about demons and demonology and demonolatry. Hmm. Well, let me uh, rearrange my microphone cord. Also, this soundtrack is too good. Acknowledging where I went wrong is the first step in moving forward, isn't it? Job was tough. No two ways about it. Worked till the wee hours, lots of nights. Wasn't just me though, a lot of us did. Then one time I just honked out right there at my desk. No clue how it happened. One minute I'm working, next I'm being shown the door. It all went down so quickly. I like being let go. It's all a blur, honestly. Okay. Your employment gap is noteworthy. Please explain its length. You want to know what, what other gaps are noteworthy? Just saying. Should I tr uh... Why? Why have you been, been unemployed for a year? It's called... It's called job searching sucks ass. Hmm... <laughs> You know, you know, you can't just say, I had depression. <laughs> I had depression. <laughs> That's not, that doesn't explain the gap. <laughs> Too damn bad, because that's the truth. <laughs> We're going to lie. Why do I appear in her eyes, I wonder? Perhaps time to cast a little value on my spackle. Well, you see, this idiot kept asking me questions. Well, you see, I was in quite a predicament with a surplus of options. I decided to hold off on jumping into the next wall right away. But I take a breather, you know, recharge and Focus on personal growth. That will break well, it stretched out longer than expected. Stumble upon this opportunity somewhat serendipitously. I figured, hey, why not give this a shot? I hope that didn't come off too strong. Seems like a reasonable enough explanation, doesn't it? Success in this interview would lead you to the position of sales specialist. Can you tell me about any experience you've had in sales? Ah, uh, um, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh. <laughs> Let's be honest. I kind of feel like there is such. I've been in a store. <laughs> I 
I feel like lying in Japan on your resume and in interviews would be looked down more upon. Unlike in America, where it's expected. <laughs> Oh, oh, you you work there here and here? Yeah, I call call my references, the references being my best friends. <laughs> oh, what's this year long gap? Um I was self employed. And so do you actually have experience driving a helicopter? Not enough to like do it every day and like to carry people, but if it's just for myself, sure. And you've performed heart surgery. Yes, I have. I didn't say it was good heart surgery. I just opened up someone's chest and ripped out their heart, but I consider that surgery. <laughs> Explain this gap. See, I signed an NDA. Can I contact your former employee? Employer, no, they're Niji Sanji. They don't want to be contacted. Hmm. I would. I want to tell the truth. I feel like we're not going to see the horror if I continue telling the truth, so I kind of want to lie. I feel like the horror is going to be influenced by our lies. Time to think on my feet. Fingers crossed she's not a gamer. Well, it's not traditional sales, but I could, did contribute to a project that saw impressive numbers. I had this concept a carrier sim in a post apocalyptic setting. It was off B, but I caught it. Oh, he made Fallout. Oh, no. Sales exceeded expectations, and there was a bit of buzz. Some people even call me a genius. Huh. I was about to say that. This is a gamble. Oh, no, he's played Fallout New Vegas. Hopefully I'll catch her attention. <laughs> well, he probably didn't make it. That was a lie. So he probably had no... No actual... Experience... Making games. That's not a critical decision to a demand of you in your previous positions. Could you detail the most strenuous challenge you encountered professionally? Well, now we kind of have to lie, because we lied previously. Truth be told, I have skirt such trials. I witnessed fears in both such predicaments. Perhaps it's my turn to don the mantle, in the tale at least. I've been tasked with some oversight responsibilities on occasion. Specifically handling various administrative problems. It's also at the unfortunate duty of letting employees go. There was an instance where it fell upon me to release a hundred individuals. <laughs> okay, you're kind of pushing it. The act of looking to their eyes, understanding their plight, it was beyond daunting. As undeniably the most person dis decision I've had to execute. Indeed, the gravest challenge my career thus far. You could have just said trying to get the printer working, but no. No, you went with that. You. I need cut Steve, for it's always been me awaiting the dreaded news, not dispensing it. Very well, fucking liar. It's common for unexpected developments to disrupt our schedules. Such instances may necessitate an employee's presence beyond regular hours. Your stance on overtime. Okay, I think I'm seeing 
the issue here. And this may be why I'm going to go into the community discord layer. It feels like there's not multiple flags for decisions. It doesn't feel like some of the decisions lead into one another. Like you previously said this, so that should lead into this. So it doesn't seem like he's like he's uh like he's going overboard. So like he said the truth a bit ago, but now his lies are are a bit much for his truth. So I did tell the truth on the fact that uh, he was fired and why he was fired. And then he just said that line about letting go multiple people. Well, then, well, then why would he have been? Then why would he have been fired if he was usually the one in charge? Your stance on overtime. The undercurrents of her crush not clear. Yeah, I must tread carefully. The truth is my compass. May I speak candidly, Miss Takamitsu? The prospect of persistent overtime is somewhat troubling to me. I understand that extraordinary circumstances require extra efforts to meet objectives. Yet habitual overtime might suggest deeper systemic issues within the organization. Uh, moreover, adequate rest can be a crucible for innovation and maintain a sharp focus on work. I feel like there are some multiple flags that are going on. I feel like there... I do feel like it is mostly this question, this flag, etc. Thus, my preference leans towards a balance, staring clear of chronic overtime where feasible. Such honesty may not align with their expectations. Nevertheless, I stand by my conviction, voicing my sincere stance on this delicate matter. We've noted your perspective. You shall be the next food for the Overlord. <clears throat> there are individuals who, due to insufficient income, opt to take on multiple jobs simultaneously. If he is on juggling multiple employment wells, truth. This inquiry strikes a chord, piercing of the veil of, of a prevalent concern. Indeed, Miss Takamitsu is delving deep, exposing the core problem of a modern dilemma. Balancing several projects concurrently was a taxing experience for me. I understand the rationale financial needs drive people to stretch to the limits. Yeah, I harbor concerns about the toll that dual employment exacts on an individual's time and vitality. Such strain can diminish focus and degrade life quality, ultimately imp impacting one's health adversely. And who better to understand this than someone in my shoes? In an ideal world, one would commit to a singular path and cultivate depth within it. Last time was an unyielding and finite master, but 24 hours to dispense daily. Understood. Here's my final query. I imagine I'm imagining this like this still like he's describing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we don't we don't know all of his previous jobs. See he. he you know, we don't know the world outside of Japan. Maybe, maybe. Maybe the world has ended outside Japan. Maybe, maybe everyone's a supernatural creature. Your earnings and sales may be closely tied to your bonus acquisition. What lengths will you would you go to ensure you receive it? Oh. I hate commissions. Like not like not art commissions, but the idea of commissions. Like outside of art. Like oh, your money's tied to tied to you during more than than what you than what you should be doing. 
I worked out a truce between two belligerent factions, bringing them both into one major project. And then we saved, and then we saved war torn nuclear fallout America. Uh, I should lie. Because it doesn't. I should lie. So I can like even out. Because I told like two, three truths and then two lies. Yeah, let's lie. The inquiry lays with implications. To what lengths indeed? Is mere competence no longer the benchmark? Yeah. That's like my issue with commissions. And like the idea of bonus Like I like I get bonuses being tied to whether or not you do well in work. And I'm okay with not getting a bonus for doing just the bare minimum. To be fair. But like if I'm well fucking loved and I'm doing the most on the bare minimum still, I think that's okay. But doing stuff that may require me to go outside of work or outside of my realm, yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> that's one of the things you can do in New Vegas though, so... I'm committing to I'm committing to exerting all necessary efforts. It's about the financial incentive and more about contributing to the company's success. My own growth as an individual. I thank you for Tomagachi. Stretch. Man, I would love to pop some of my bones right now. I'm pretty sure if I popped any anything right now besides what I can pop, which is like my fingers, like my toes, and like occasionally my ankle, I'm pretty sure it would just like release so much tension, it would just blow up the observatory. <laughs> Cause I wound up more than than any toy. <laughs> I I I I ha I ha I have enough stress to power Tokyo in twenty fifty. <laughs> I welcome the challenge that accompanies such goals, be it improving processes, meeting sale targets, the other objectives set before me. Any other objectives? A phrasing cloaks a deeper meaning, one that eludes my grasp. We concluded our discussion. That completes our assessment for the sales specialist role. I have no further inquiries. Um, may I ask about the next steps? I will I will now proceed to communicate the outcome. This so swiftly. Indeed, the dialogue has provided sufficient insight to determine your fit for our team. My mind raced to fabricate the right narrative. The job was crucial, and I'd bend my story slightly if needed. Just a slight embellishment. Oh no, she's smiling. She's going to... She's going to do that thing where she d d extends her neck and whip off our head with her teeth. Did Miss Takemitsu notice the finesse? She's a cannibal. Is she technically a cannibal if she's more of a, like, a yokai? Yeah. Like, when you turn into the monster, are you still considered a cannibal? Or, that, or is that at that point another species is just food? I wouldn't call what Kenji did finesse, really. No, that was more of a stumble. Did I convey the depth of my need convincingly? 
Because the need was dire. I gave it my all. Let's recapitulate before I decapitate. You're summoned unexpectedly to this interview and you navigate the supplies admirably. Promising start. I trust you found your responses satisfactory. However, but wasn't it sufficient? Your performance isn't quite what we anticipate from a prospect for the cell specialist role. You must seek someone dependable, yet capable of thinking outside the mundane when this situation calls for it. Wait. And pursue someone with experience, yet unmarred by the conventional approaches for the unique challenges we present. <laughs> Damn boss theme in the background. <laughs> this isn't happening. We value honesty, yet we also require someone who can navigate complexities with finesse. This can't be happening. Do you comprehend, Mr. Hashima? Yeah, you're about to eat me. The floor turned to quicksand beneath me. Her words like a cascade, unbelievable as they hit me. <laughs> to be fair, what job interview doesn't have a boss theme going on in the background? I had... I, I really tried. Here's my first interview after so long, and this is this an immediate dismissal? Uh, for, for what reason? What does she mean by those oxymoronic requirements? Who are they looking for? Where did I falter? Uh, why does this always happen to me? Uh, will there be another chance? Is this the end? The sky fall. I felt a swoon coming on, utterly staggered by her verdict. I thought I was braced for rejection. But in truth, I hadn't entertained the thought. I simply in the right place, the right moment, a random choice brought me here. Was the decision predetermined? Hold your breath. And count to ten. Certainly not. Mr. Hashima, this concludes our encounter. Please, no. Your time and effort today are appreciated. I'm pulling the lever to eject you into the master's den to be eaten. Please, not those words. Spare me the dry cliché. We'll call you back. And there it was. <laughs> I know she said encounter. Meant to be words of hope. If they snatch her away instead. I knew the call wouldn't come. Welcome to the Kuroshi Club. <laughs> this is a song. Oh, and there's a soundtrack, yeah. Let me let me get the link. Hold on. Do you, do they have just the soundtrack? <clears throat> okay, yeah. 
let me uh, share the soundtrack, cause... Wait, business punk? Uh, 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 we're, we're not, we're not getting into that. Where's the share button? There we go. Okay. I'm assuming this is just the start. Made core with... I, I, I think they're just saying words at this point. <laughs> I feel like people are making up words at this point. But there is a soundtrack if anyone wants it. Okay, let's see if we can get any of the other endings. And I'll play this for everyone who wasn't here originally. So let's go ahead and like just tell the truth throughout. Because we got the neutral ending, presumably because because we were because I was doing a mix of answers. Intro is longer than the damn thing. <laughs> To be fair, um, I am enjoying the game, however, I definitely feel like I feel like it's currently too reliant on anxiety because here's the thing like i enjoy the atmosphere however i'm making fun of it day three wait this is a different day 39, 31. I think this is a different day. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Bossy temper of one's voice. Greetings. Slide disarray. I, I would go over ahead and read this, but uh, I've already read all this earlier, so. And you tell me, is it? Thank Neo. Mr. Takashi, who gave a fucking payphone as his number. Now we're going to tell all the truth. I apologize, there seems to be a mistake. Mr. Takashi isn't present. This is a fucking payphone! My name is Hashima Kenji. Apple silence ensued, followed by my declaration. A brief interlude hung in the air before the woman responded. Peculiar indeed. Are you certain Mr. Takashi is unavailable? I am, yes. Can you like, is, 
Kenji's like my Ryan character, is always just ruminating. Truthfully, I'm the only one here at a fucking payphone. Can feel the slip of what might be my lone opportunity for employment through my fingers. But to fabricate a lie seems amiss. May fortune favor Mr. Takashi, wherever he may be. Oh well, farewell then. Bolt. A query for you, Mr. Hashima. Is employment something you currently seek? Can it be? Is she genuinely considering offering me employment? <laughs> Given that Mr. Takashi failed to provide a response today, I might propose you attempt an interview for the cell specialist role. Does such a proposal pique your interest? Uh, are you kidding? Of course it does. This is the stuff of dreams. I must retain composure and marshal my thought. Yes, actually, I'm, I am interested. Then proceed to our office utilizing the address I shall subse subsequently provide today. 11 Tsukuji Chuku Tokyo. Chaku Chuku Chaku. Uh, understood. Thank you. Farewell. We won't conclude the call. Inter an invitation to interview for employment, alas, rests in my possession. It teeters on the unbelievable. It appears that my honesty bore the ripest fruit after all. Sometime later. Following the subway, my mind swelled in the vortex of the inter imminent interview. Okay, the fears, the fear and loathing, <laughs> fear and loathing, fear of the unfamiliar, fear of fear for the future. Has the future reserved for me? Merely slumbering at my once at my fu fu former employment has thrust me to yada yada. The catty bitches. <laughs> Again, I would re reread all this, but but we're focusing on getting the other endings. But he is very wordy. I feel like. Again, I feel like the word choice is meant to build into the fact that that there is a certain personality you have to take with job hunting. Uh, I'm not sure if that is equally as it is in Japan as it is in America. Like you, you, yeah, I assume that's the moral. How I feel like... I would feel like it would help if the moral was true. <laughs> I scrutinized it, rang my prospects anew. And like again, I'm pretty sure these developers are... American? Like I'm not 100% sure on, on, on whether or not these... These developers are are from uh, yeah, no, no. Um yeah, this may be a game made by Western Western developers 
four. Okay, thank you. For an Eastern game. <clears throat> Or it could be that they're from the east, from Japan, I'm not 100% sure. Like, it's very difficult to tell. I feel like there, there would be quite a um, cultural difference. between Japanese job interviews and American job interviews. Okay, truth. Does a re resolution to that inquiry exist? My honesty, my knowledge reaches its limits. I'm uncertain if I embody the right individual for the position. Proper doubts about successfully navigating through the interview. My competencies remain under a cloud of ambiguity. And thank you for coming to Tomogachi again. The sole clarity lies in understanding that without an intent, success eludes me. Dude, my doubts may cloud my vision. But until an interview is secured, these worries, they stand as mere apparitions. My mind spends tales of anxieties, envisioning unencountered problems. However, continuing with the non-existent is a futile endeavor. Initially, I must secure an interview. If I fail it, only then does the problem materialize in reality. In reality, it can be navigated through negotiation. A trade has arrived. Also, in reflections of whether my skills were sufficient, I scarcely noticed my arrival at the designated spot. There I was, dwarfed by the towering, multi-tiered office structure. Cast a more in shadow over its antiquated magician building. Vast glass panes caught the sun's rays, shimmering warmly. Could be that I might find my place within these walls. Just past the speech, speech checks, obviously. True, isn't that what job interviews are? Just speech checks. Charisma checks. Trying, trying to back up your lie. Joining a large corporation has long been a dream of mine. Under what experiences lay beyond these formidable facades. Memories of the past began to sketch out my... Began to sketch out visions of my potential work days. Within the pulse of daily commerce, thumbed thumb unseen. Someone, okay, yeah, this is all exactly the same. Perhaps one or two sought refuge in a bathroom cubicle, stealing moments of respite. Such trivialities wove the fabric of my own days. Mr. Hashima, good to see you. Good to see you, too. She greets Reset with a professionalism that's almost curt. That is not a word I'm saying. A wriggling unease whispers to me beneath her formal veneer. Who, who wrote that? Apparently, so apparently Maycor, and I think business punk are two actual genres. No, I think I found corporate punk instead of business punk. Corporate punk and business punk sound so adjacent, they may as well be the same thing. <laughs> but I can understand Maycore. Yeah, that's that sounds like an aesthetic. Though I feel like there's like so many like versions of maids. How can you just have made core? <laughs> Business punk I understand though. That sounds that sounds like like considering that how, how we envision business is definitely like Yeah, that's what I thought. Like like we have a definite vision for business that is people in 
business suits. There's people in business suits with the ties and the best plants and all that. But who wrote this word? Who wrote this word? I I need to see who did this. That that's just a word no one should be saying. It's that pain of being just another applicant, a potentially number in her quota. I sense the rehearse calling her cordiality a protect. A practice mask worn by necessity. It dawns on me. This is her routine. Her daily armor against the world of revolving faces. How long has she been donning this persona? And we cut to uh, the song. Get up, get up, get out there. Get up, get out, get out there. Does the rate of it ever press too heavily? When last did she cast it aside, if ever? Or the one in Persona 3. The one in Persona 3 or the original Persona 4 theme. Because I hate Golden's theme. Or we could play Scary Mask. <laughs> M-A-S-K, is anyone okay? Might the day arrive when the mask and the woman behind it merge irreversibly? Mr. Hashima, you seem preoccupied. Is there an issue? No, I'm just thinking about my poppy playlist. I just lost in thought for a moment. If you were, please come this way and don't dawdle or think about or think about metal music. You know, we cannot have metal listeners at our workplace. We can proceed with our discussion inside. Of course, thank you. What will happen when the mask merges with what, with what underneath? Maybe she is the mask already. As I shall miss Takamitsu, a sense of unease crept in. Because I'm pretty sure Miss Takamitsu is not human. Abruptly, it dawned on me that our destination wasn't the towering structure. No. Yeah, you were disillusioned. You were delusioned there, buddy boy. Now our doom is backed by elevator music. Now she's going to ask us about our private life. Where we reveal that we are a virgin with no special powers. And what of leisure activities? Oh yeah, I forgot. He just tells the truth here. That's probably another thing, is that he just tells the truth in the elevator. I'm not sure if that's, if that's discussion that's activated by telling the truth earlier. Or not. I stepped into the nondescript office. It's like every other room. Cal it's like every other room. A co copy of countless others that punctuate the corporate world. She placed herself. Take a seat. Pivotal moment. Dry spell in my career have been lengthy. This interview is a long rated break in the clouds. Can't afford to stumble now. The stakes were high. You're going to tell the truth. You're going to tell the truth, fucker. I feel like I wanted more monsters, though. 
this thing. I think this game is considered complete. However, they're going to add more. I'm not sure. Like, the Steam page is kind of vague on it. This is... Oh, this is episode zero? Okay. It's as if I... But as anxiety threatened to overtake me, I pulled the brakes on the runaway train of my thoughts. You know, he called me back. Polly, I'm assuming... <laughs> Thank you. Amazing help. Gold star. You win the interview. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Mr. Hashima, your presence here today for the cell specialist role is much appreciated. Shall we commence with the questions? Sure, I'm ready. First lie ever. How do you envision yourself in a century's time? Uh... Junior manager! I love home shopping hotline. I mean, home, home safety hotline, oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I want to do some, uh, some crossover art now between home safety hotline and welcome to the Kuroshi Club. Uh, truth. We already told the truth here, so I already, I'm already going to just skip through this. Your employment gap is noteworthy. Please, explain its length. The truth has its own stark clarity. The fail of eviction feels too weighty to drape over my narrative. My last position was in an industry that's, well, not exactly booming. I was part of a small team making video games, a niche within a niche. I had the job market aiming to stick with gaming, but it's been a tough sell lately. So I run my search, you know, I'm up for new challenges, willing to learn. Just looking for a place where I can dedicate myself, really dive in. Once I was all about the gaming life, now I just want to work to be part of something. Success in this interview would lead you to the position of spell specialist. Can you tell me about any true any experience you have in sales? Now the moment to sift through. Now now is the moment to sift through my memories for anything relevant. A buddy of mine owns this quaint little shop, and they deal in fresh produce and brews. There was time I'd step in for him, J just just temporarily. Clearly, I'm not seasoned in sales, but that's not to say I can't pick it up. I'm quite keen on embracing new experiences. It's not uncommon for farms to look for fresh slates, people they can shape into their ways. <laughs> Scholastic book fair. <laughs> oh boy, back in the day, I could just blow money on those. That's why I kind of like conventions, you know? Conventions are kind of like scholastic book fairs, but for indie people and and anime fans, you know? Like, going through the dealer room, just blowing all your cash like a child in a candy store. Like, oh my god. That, that's, that's the feeling, you know? Is there a Scholastic Book Fair theme game? No, but I should make it. <laughs> OMG, I'm going to look that up. <laughs> Gotta be the blank canvas they're looking to paint upon. What sort of critical de decisions were demanded of you in your previous posis positions? Could you detail the most strenuous challenge you encountered professionally? 
crafting worlds within the digital realm is a, is a feat of Sisyphean proportions. That's my dream. I love blowing cash in our Sally, right? Like, you just have that long room entirely decorated in clown stuff. Which is kind of how my room's looking right now. <laughs> Indeed, the quandaries I've braved may appear trivial to the uninitiated bystanders in the living room. <laughs> but thanks to like friends sending me stuff from uh from uh crane games, like there is like this crane game on your phone where you can win stuff. I I've, I've been sent a lot of stuff. <laughs> and it feels like I've gotten con stuff. <laughs> Indeed, the quandaries I bring may appear trivial to that uninitiated bystander. If a hesitant was all, I must have the courage to speak. <laughs> but I bet your living room looks amazing, Silver. I, I, I bet it just looks awesome. My tenure in the realm of game creation was far trials. I go war between the vision of our publisher and the heartbeat of our creative team. It's kind of tough attempting to serve two sides and fulfill a duo of visions. Amidst this, the projects form more repeatedly, with each iteration reaching our collective spirit. The most harrowing choice to quell my own creative spirit and align with the publisher, all while preserving the essence of our initial dream. Such concession was nothing short of a torment to my creative soul. Very well. It's common for unexpected developments to disrupt our schedules. Such instances may necessi necessi necessitate an employee's presence beyond regular hours. Your stance on overtime, truth. We've noted your perspective. There are individuals who, due to insufficient income, I told the truth here, too. Understood. Here's my final query. Your sales... The aspect of a bonus is certainly appealing. Yet the notion of succumbing to corporate pressures is far less enticing. My commitment is to achieve objectives with an allotted work schedule, but not at the expense of my personal well-being or time. I aim to maintain a sustainable pace that supports both the company's goals and my team's needs. I previously stretched myself too thin, and what was the yield? I love bonuses, they let me flex on my co-workers! <laughs> Now it's essential to prioritize a more balanced approach. I believe in my ability to navigate challenges, but with deliberation. Progress, measured, and steady is the key. We've concluded our discussion. Now we will see if I feed you to the master. That completes our sales assessment for the sales spe specialist role. I have no further inquiries. May I ask about the next steps? I will now proceed to communicate the outcome. You see the lever. I trust you know what I'm about to do with this lever. So swiftly. Indeed, the dialogue has provided sufficient insight to determine your fit for our team. I've been truthful to the extent of my abilities. I always believe that honesty could carve uh, through any fortress of falsehood. I hope Miss Takamitsu would recognize and value that. Yes, perhaps I'm not the quintessential candidate, but I'm reliable and earnest. Mr. Hashima, do you even grasp the gibberish you're spouting? The previously I see Miss Takamitsu's tone had abruptly turned tinged with an unsewing fervor. Uh, excuse me? Uh, what are you implying? 
I've been meticulously monitoring how you respond to my inquiries. And I must express my disappointment. It was a catastrophe. Tell me. How can one be so unbearably truthful? You were telling almost only the truth, weren't you? And you genuinely believed this would aid you. Uh, that's what's going on here. I was completely baffled by the unfolding events. Miss Takamitsu seemed to grit her teeth with every word she spoke. As if each sentence formed was a laborious task. As though it pained her to physically utter these statements. Miss Takamitsu, is everything alright with you? Is everything alright with me? What do you think? Hmm? Oh, oh, she's about to eat us. I was at a loss for words. Decided to try a fresh tactic this time, did you, Kenji? You know how I test all this. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? <clears throat> Why must you treat me this way? To confess my confusion would be an understatement. Something drastic could happen to Miss Takamitsu. I dare it break. Damn it, ads. I will BRB because I actually need to use the bathroom. I'm back. And let me check the thing while I still have time. <laughs> what did you send me? Ah. Uh, I bet you that's really cursed. <laughs> but, uh, so far I'm enjoying the game. I kind of wish there was more outright horror I kind of wish there was more outright horror and not just 
what we're getting. Because I enjoy what we're getting, but I feel like it's not enough. It's like metal. <laughs> I wasn't even sure I was still dealing with this stuff. I mean, like, there's hints of stuff. Of there being more. I just wish we were getting more. I wasn't even sure if I was still dealing with Miss Takamitsu. It was as if she were possessed. By some sort of monster. As a thought crossed my mind, I noticed her transformation wasn't just behavioral. The visage was distorting. A new set of eyes began to emerge from her flesh. Ah, here we go. She was no more gelatinous abomination than a human being. Here we go. This is what I wanted. Mm-mm, good. This is your doing. Petrified, I witnessed the impossible become reality. Meanwhile, Miss Takamitsu, or... However she had become, loom closer. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I wanted. I, I don't want this, but this is what I wanted in terms of horror. I asked. This, this is what I wanted to top off my... This is the cherry on the ice cream. Oh, well, the cherry on the cake. We'll be in touch. Congratulations. You've passed the interview. You're hired. Her, dri her words dripped with irony as she stretched each syllable. Did you expect a different outcome, Enji? Surely not this one. My laughter was deafening and manic. I was in shock by the unfolding nightmare. Uh, I needed to fleet her off as yet, yet my body refused to cooperate. The situation was sheer madness, beyond my comprehension. As my mind raced for an escape, I fell to notice her encroaching presence. She bore no resemblance to the woman I had met. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, she, she's planning to eat us. Kenji. My name emerged from her. Once a symphony of human intonation, our guttural snarl. Paralysis gripped me. Action remained a distant concept. C could this be the conclusion of my tale? Oh, Kenji. You seem even more appetizing than usually. Usually, huh? <laughs> that was the bad ending. Well, no need to worry about employment now. Hold on. I have a theory. A game theory. May Map have, have a nice... May, pair, may Map have a nice retirement. He deserves it. I have a theory. I just need to press play again.
Everyone, are you prepared to lie? I already become a pretty little liar. I think this will be the end of it. Lie or die. As lie as a piece says. Lie or die. Man, I'm actually glad I'm going to get the soundtrack. Hold on, now I'm about to have a theory and it's about to be proven. When when the next day thick day thing pops up. Day... Day 2634. Yep. So... My theory is... Cause every single day... That I've seen this thing pop up on... Has been different. Is that, um, uh... Kenji may be in a cycle where every single day he gets called to go in for an interview. And then, uh, something horrible happens to him. And, like, that, and, like, and, like, he's stuck in this Groundhog Day loop. But it's only him. So, uh, hold on. Let me look at my library. Sisyphus' interview. He actually did mention Sisyphus earlier. Let me see, um, view my achievements. Okay, so we need to do all the truth. So we've done all the truth. Now we need to do nothing but lies. But my personal theories is that uh, he is kind of like Sisyphus. This is since this is Sisyphus's interview. Yeah, basically, and he's in this time loop Groundhog Day interview, where like he could be in purgatory. He has mentioned purgatory as well. So like now we do nothing but lie. Good job, interview purgatory. Yeah, that that's someone's hell, all right. That's multiple people's hell. That that's someplace I personally wouldn't want to be myself. Do I have like uh? I need, like, an acceleration button. The... I, I am going to go into the Discord, because this does actually very much highly interest me. I also do like that there is a lot of... Uh... 
you the past four back from persona. A lot of uh visual novels actually have fast forward buttons if you've already been through them, but that's that's <laughs> not they don't have that here. But like there is a lot of like passive like um passive world building like like we we're like remember there was the hand and there was these symbols in the office. And like we have this hand right here. And like, and like we do, and like we do have confirmation that the that there is magic here, or well, uh, like, like there is supernatural creatures. Am I adept for all as cell specialists? Lie to yourself, honey. Indeed, I am primed for new employment. Undoubtedly prepared to face any forthcoming hurdle. All my search for a position has spanned nearly an entire year. Surely a duration ample enough to secure a role within any organization. The key lies in merely procuring an interview. Thereafter, retaining the position will assuredly be less formidable. I possess the capability. True, though. True. Not sure about how it is in Japan, but the hardest part of, of a job? Getting it. I have the medal. Surely they cannot reject me now, especially having extended an invitation for an interview, can they? I shall attain what I desire, through whatever means necessary. The train has arrived. But yeah, the sound design is really good, too. I do wish they explain the fuck. Oh, maybe the eyeball on his hand is like a curse mark. Maybe the eyeball on his hand is like a curse mark. So, like, if this is, like, a samsara, a ground dog, I said ground dog, ground hog day loop, um, then Mr. Takashi never existed. This has all, this has all been a ruse. They're just getting off on his torture. <laughs> Again, I feel like all of this does kind of... It's definitely a... The job interview whore. Like, it does feel like... Going through job interviews, no matter what it is, no matter your previous experience... Is... Is Sisyphus. It is Sisyphus, or it's Tantalus. <laughs> you are in limbo. <laughs> You do feel like you're going through an eternal reincarnation cycle of hell. Where you're just tortured every time you go out. Where you kind of disillusion yourself. If you get the interview, you disillusion yourself into thinking 
you're going to get the job. And then you come crashing down and either the interview doesn't go well or it goes well, but you're not the best person for it or the one they want. Or you go to the interview and they already have someone hired. I feel like this part should have been changed if you lied both times previously. Like, that's just my opinion. I feel like there should be more dialogue changes. Like, again, that was, like, one of my big issues with ambition. I stepped into the... Uh, okay, now we get to the lying. Pretty little liar, step up. And now we start with the boss music. No, we're lying. We're becoming pretty little liars. We're gonna have a little A on our chest. Although that's for adultery. However, I guess we'll have a pretty blue L. Well, or a pretty scarlet A. I don't know. What, what color would you associate with lying? I feel like it's green. I feel like lies are green. Excellent. My thoughts, usually my sanctuary. I like that line. My thoughts, usually my sanctuary. Not for me! She starts with the, uh, the sentry question. Lie. The truth was a precarious ledge. Best to construct a narrative that absolved me. That being external circumstance, uncontrollable, unforeseeable. The truth, the thing is, the company's funds dried up and just folded. I really enjoyed my time there, actually. Made some great maids and had a boss who was pretty decent. But you know, all things come to a close. Eventually. I think everyone learned on their feet and found new gigs. And the high-ups, hope they sold any debts they had. For me, it was just the right push to explore something different. Fingers crossed, she takes that well. I shifted the spot later away from any faults of mine, highlight the pauses about past colleagues and the company. Maybe this shows I'm a team player, someone who speaks positively of others. Meanwhile, me, this cunt drove me away from my last job. Okay. Liar. The employment gap is noteworthy. Please explain its length. Okay, yeah, we've been through this one too. It's like, oh, I went to explore myself. I didn't have depression or anything. I didn't want to throw myself off a building. There's... There's absolutely no reason in the game. No one in the gaming industry wants to adopt me. There's no reason why I don't have any indie games underneath my uh, belt. I made Fallout New Vegas.
Okay, now we get to the new lie. It's still funny. Like, that's exactly what he described. Like I said, I believe he's on Western Developers. Your stance on overtime lie. The question is a hook, baited for a specific answer. My perspective is always consider the organization's needs. The nature of existence is chaotic, making it difficult to hear you know, to the most basic timelines. This is ampl amplified within a business context. We are prepared to allocate additional personal hours to ensure the company's smooth operation. Post-apocalyptic courier game. To be fair... He did not describe the battle system, if there was one. Honestly, working in, work in my private time was synonymous. Considering the absence of any significant personal engagements, my assertion was surprisingly forthright. We noted your perspective. Liar. There are individuals who, due to insufficient income, ought to take on multiple jobs simultaneously. Your views on juggling multiple employment roles? Perhaps a touch of embellishment is called for. This scenario is not unfamiliar to me. There was a period when I simultaneously contributed to three different organizations. But you count VOTs and, like, locational damage, yeah. There was a period when I simultaneously contributed to three different organizations. For some, this might sound overwhelming. Nonetheless, I succeed in augmenting the productivity of each. And as it continues to flow, I tackle challenges with relative ease. In my opinion, as long as it's within legal bounds and doesn't violate any existing employment agreements, an arrangement can be beneficial rather than detrimental. Oh, honey. May my response cast a favorable light on my capacity for debt building hard work. May I see you, you hell, young man? To be fair, though, no one should have to have multiple jobs unless they want to. If you have to, that just fucking sucks. Now go on to their Discord and ask them if they were thinking of New Vegas. And I think I think their Discord is in the uh, Steam page. Here's my final query. Uh, okay. And we already went through this one. We concluded our discussion. It's a cell assessment. I have no further inquiries. I was ready to cross any line. To weave a web of lies, if that's what it took. To downplay, if it would serve my purpose. At times, desperation is such that bargains with one's own conscience are off the table. It's as if you silence it. Convince yourself to its absent and do what, what is necessary to secure your desires. But then my tactics bore fruit, only time would tell. Mr. Hashima, I appreciate the effort you've made to be here today. I imagine being thrust into an interview so suddenly was quite the shock. But it is for you to have been, in mis been here, Mr. Takeshi stead. It's a matter of perspective. Perhaps it was Mr. Takeshi's misfortune that became my serendipity. Either way, I stood to gain. However... Am I prepared for her verdict? You've performed admirably. We found your profile to be quite satisfactory. So I'm pleased to inform you that you secured the role of sales specialist at Kaneo Industry. Did I succeed? Her words lifted a weight off my soul shoulders. I felt an urge to leap with joy, to dance, it seemed unreal. Finally, the grueling quest for employment has concluded. Did I dare to feel hopeful once more? I closed my eyes to savor the triumph, that's when Miss Takemetsu spoke again. 
You're incredibly fortunate to join us. For we offer the finest conditions. We never demand overtime. Quite the opposite, we advocate for punctual departures and ample rest. Huh? Blinking over my eyes, something in Miss Takamitsu's appearance seemed amiss. Was this reality or merely my mind playing tricks? Meanwhile, she went on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's something amiss there. Did that wound change or is it just me? Um, if it changed during the black part, I didn't notice. The company takes great care of our employees' well-being. Something was definitely off. And with every word, her form altered further. What stood before me moments ago, as Miss Takamatsu continued. You won't regret joining our ranks. You'll find this place to be second home. With no desire to depart. One the world. Which has creature wound before me. This wasn't Miss Takamatsu. And my cherished dream warped it to a nightmare? A screen erupted from within as horror engulfed my senses. A monster! There's a monster here! Calm down, Mr. Shima. Look at yourself. Are you talking about yourself? Oh my. Well, what did she imply? In a flurry, I glanced at my hands. They were swelling, stretching the fabric of my sleeves. Not tingling on my forehead compel me to touch it. Yeah, I look back. The wound changed. Ah. Did she really just say no you? Yeah. What was this? Bumps? Two of them? No, they're, they're horns? As metamorphosis. As metamorphosis. Closing into a creature from a horror flip. <laughs> what triggered this? Is this permanent? What on earth is happening? I don't know. That, that... I don't know. That can be considered an improvement. In some cases. This interview... This isn't how the interview was meant to conclude. Have I lost my mind? Is this an... Okay, no, no. That's a bit much for me. That's a bit much. He's looking like he's gonna explode. Did I never actually wake up? Thoughts race chaotically, threatening to escape my mind in their frenzy to escape. And no longer fend off their encroaching madness and let out a cry. Mr. Hashima. Mr. Hashima? Are you all right? What? My breaths were heavy. My chest heaved in such of air. Miss Takamitsu sat before me. Utterly ordinary. You seemed distant after I announced your successful interview. So is all a figment of my imagination? Was the fear of failure that profound? I don't know if I the head of sales. Expecting you in the office. Please, go meet the team. It's early for your first day. You're a perfect time for introductions. The eerie vision of Miss Takamitsu as a repulsive creature lingered in my mind. Thank goodness it was just a dream. Understood. Thank you. Miss Takamitsu directed me to, to the office. I'm sure that face coming out of the computer is absolutely, a hundred percent normal. Oh look, another sigil. Or rune. Let's see what other strange, strange things I hear. 
It's mostly the face and the wound. Stepping inside, I breathed a sigh of relief. I had made it. Turning to my new colleagues, I said, Hey, I'm Kenji. Welcome to the Kuroshi Club. I'm Kenji. Okay, we have one more ending to get. Uh, making new friends at work is so hard. You say hey to them and get jump scared. <laughs> Okay, hold on. There is one more thing we can get. Guys, I looked at the, uh, thing. Skip. I know. There's one more thing we can do. Now, let's just press escape. Okay, I thought that was going to be a whole thing. Because it was a... Because it was an achievement, but I guess not. Kenji's just like, bye. <laughs> Okay, I got all the endings. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go join the... Yeah, I'm going to join the... Bye, I'll get a job at Uber instead. I'll get a job at Uber Japan. <laughs> but that was actually kind of good. Kind of very interesting. I do have my faults. I do feel like there should be more flags. I think that if you're going to make your game so short, you could, you could afford to do the little bit of extra work. I do feel like he should have been lying more if you had only chosen hey I'm gonna lie about whether or not I'm actually myself or Mr. Takashi but I do like the horror I was like Ray I was like the neutral ending isn't giving me what I need so it's probably in the true ending or well well not the true ending the uh the good and bad endings which I'm glad there was <laughs> I'm going to go back later and look at my own VOD to see to look at the to look at the rune changes. I do wonder if he is in like um a purgatory or a limbo. Or if the days are just random, but it definitely feels like the days he could be in like like a purgatory uh limbo. Okay, it looks like Firm is still going on, and I never get to raid Firm because we're just not on at the same time. So, going to raid Firm, but um, uh, just to talk a little bit more. I love the soundtrack. That is a very good soundtrack, and it actually fits because it doesn't. It doesn't feel out of place when it comes in. Which is kind of like an issue with certain games where the soundtrack is good, but it doesn't match. Again, like I said, I was talking, I was watching Indica the other day, and I was like, Wow, this soundtrack is kind of off. <laughs> and like the most important thing about horror is usually the sound, if it's not the scares. 
I, I think it goes like the scary creepy atmosphere and then like the sound design and the music design because music and sound are very important to said atmosphere. I wasn't expecting all though. Mm. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it, the contrast kind of does it well. I feel like the contrast does it very well. But anyways, just like head at my table. <laughs> and like, it does feel like it is, it is, it is not even a metaphor. It is outright basically, is basically like, yeah, this is how job interviews feel like. It feels like purgatory. It feels like hell. I'm kind of wondering if the if like the if the whole universe is going to be about the about the about it or not. I'm very interested to see more about this universe. To be honest, and all the sounds and music in the music contrast how chaotic is. Yeah, yeah. Like it, like it definitely feels like oh, this is Kenji's anxiety. This is this is how he feels. I'm very interested to see more, and I, like I said, I'm going directly to the Discord after this. But I do want to raid Firm. Because, again, I don't get to, because just not our times. Our times not match, do not match up. But I will see you all, almost like it's calm on the outside, then Kenji's pan. Yeah, yeah. But I will see you all later. Good night, good fortune, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.